Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths channel. Um, I'm now going to be answering question number nine, which is the final question from this paper. This pure mathematics P4, June, October 2020, International A level Edexcel paper. Um, this is a question about differential equations here. It says bacteria are growing on the surface of a dish in a laboratory. The area of the dish A centimeters squared covered by the bacteria. T days after the bacteria start to grow is modeled by the differential equation dA dt. It's basically the change in the rate of change in the area is equal to a to the power of 3 over 2 over 5 t squared, where t is greater than 0. Given that a equals 2.25 when t equals 3, show that a equals p t over q t plus r all squared where p, q, and r are integers to be found. Okay, so basically we have to solve this differential equation. We have to start with dA dt and end up with a. So we have to solve this differential equation. So the differential equation starts off with dA dt, and it's called a differential e equation because it has a derivative in it. Um, so you have a to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 5t squared. So what we have to do is we have to solve for a. So we have to basically integrate both sides with respect to t to find what a is. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to integrate this side with respect to t. So I have dA dt dt equals, I'll integrate this side with respect to t as well. So what you do to one side, you must do the same to the other side. So it's a over a to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 5t squared. And I'm integrating this side also with respect to t. Now here you can see the dt's, you can say they cancel out, and you're left with the integral of dA equals the integral of a to the power of 3 over 2 um, divided by 5t squared dt. So on the side that it says dA, we must have all the a terms. On the side that it says dt, we have to have, to have all the t, the, d, the, the, the t terms. So I'm going to... Um, divide both sides by a to the power of 3 over 2. So this side will become a to the power of negative 3 over 2, because it's the reciprocal of that, um, dA. So I'm going to integrate this side with respect to a, and this side you'll end up with 1 over 5. I'll write that outside. And I'm going to have, um, in fact, I can even write the 5 here to make it easier. Okay, from the beginning. And then I'll have t to the power of negative 2, write it so it's ready to integrate so that's 5 a to the power of minus 3 over 2 with respect to a so I've got to integrate this side with respect to a now what I'm going to do to save myself writing the constant of integration there's a little trick you can use because they said that given that a equals 2.25 when t equals 3 2.25 is 2 and a quarter which is 9 over 4 I think it'll be easy to use that so when a is 2.25 t is 3 so I'm going to put here a and 2.25 which is uh, 9 over 9 over what was it 9 over 4 9 over 4 okay and then I'm going to put t in this side and it says when a is uh, 2.25 t equals 3 so we, they told us when a equals 2.25 which is 9 over 4 t is equal to 3 so I've put here a and 9 over 4 and t and 3. This will save us from writing the constant of integration and it will find the value of c automatically, basically. So now um, what I need to do here is I need to integrate this. Okay, so I can integrate this side with respect uh, to a. So I've got 5 and I'm going to have... Now I have to add 1 to the power, so that's going to give me a to the power of negative a half divided by negative a half, which is multiplied by minus 2. If you divide by negative of a half, you have to multiply by negative 2. And that's going to be with the limits a and 9 over 4 equals. And here I'm going to have the integral, well, integrate 2 to the power of minus 2. It gives you 2 to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1 and the limits t and 3. So if we substitute now, uh, let's get it ready first. This is like uh, minus 10. And this is like 1 over the square root of a equals, and this is um, minus, you're going to have uh, 1 over t. And I've got t and 3. 
Now I'm going to continue. Let me just um, continue on the next page. Okay, now I need to substitute these values in the equation. So I'm going to have minus, ah, uh, this was a, and this was, um, I didn't write that down, did I? That's a and 9 over 4. That should be over there. a and 9 over 4. So I'm going to have minus 10 times 1 over the square root of a minus um, um, 1 over the square root of 9 over 4. I'll leave it like that for now. And then on the other side, I have equals minus, I'm going to have 1 over t minus 1 over 3. Okay, so now I have to make a the subject of this. So let me simplify this as much as I can. I have minus 10. I'm going to have 1 over the square root of a um, minus 1 over 3 over 2, which is 2 thirds. That's going to be 2 thirds because this is 3 over 2. The reciprocal of that is 2 thirds equals, and you're going to have minus 1 over t plus a third. So let me just... Uh, get rid of this so, so this is going to be 20 over 3 minus 1 over minus 10 over root a okay equals minus 1 over t plus 1 over 3 okay let's isolate the a term and then bring everything else to the other side so i have 20 over 3 minus 1 over 3 which is 19 over 3 plus 1 over t equals 10 over the square root of a let's combine this into one fraction okay so this is going to be 19 t over 3 t uh, plus 3 over that's going to be 3 over 3 t so you're going to have 19 t plus 3 over 3 t is equal to 10 over root a if i cross multiply and make a the subject i'll have root a equals 30t over 19t plus 3. So finally, I get my a as squaring both sides. I have 30t over 19t plus 3, all squared, which is the right form that we are asked to put it in. Okay, so let me just, uh, just copy and paste this on the other side so I can compare them. So put this here. Okay, so we can say that we've got it in the right form. So we can say P, in our case, we've got P equals 30, and Q equals 19, and R equals 3. Okay, that's the answer to part A. That's what we had to do for part A. Okay, good. So the integers, they all turned out to be integers, and we found them all. And that's the answer part A. Now I'm going to go into part B. Okay, so now for part B, it says, according to the model, there is a limit to the area that will be covered by the bacteria. Find the value of this limit. Now, when you have a question like this, um, the simple way of dealing with it, if they don't ask you to show any kind of... Um, steps or anything like this is just take a value of t that's really big so you can just say as t approaches infinity okay as it, as it approaches a, a really big number then 30t over 19t plus 3 um, will approach and you can basically just take 30t uh, squared sorry squared okay will approach so you just bracket fraction I'm going to put 30 now I'm going to put like times say a million some really big number so a million okay that's uh, one two three one two three four five six so 30 times a million over 19 times a million so one and then you got one two three four five six okay that's um, then I've got plus three close that whole bracket and then square it as they ask us to do and that gives us um, 2.49307 okay if I if I take away the square and 
write it like this. It gives us, one second, what's going on here? Did I do this right? 30 times a million. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, 19t plus 3. Okay, and all squared. Yeah, that gives us 2.493. Okay, um, that should give us basically 30 over 19. Okay, is that 30 over 19? Let's see, 30 divided by 19 equals, and squared, sorry, 30 over 19 equals squared. Okay, 30 over 19, uh, if I square that, I get 2.493, that's right. So it gives you the, the, the same answer, that's correct. So basically, you put a va value of t that's really large in there, Okay, as I as I did earlier. Okay, so thirty times um, a million over nineteen times um, a million. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think I put one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, plus three. Okay, and I squared all of that, and it gave me the same two point four nine three. Okay, that is the value that it gives. So round it to two. Two point four. 2.493 sorry 2.493 is that value 2.493 is the area in millimeters squared okay I think the model is in millimeters squared centimeters squared sorry centimeters squared okay that's centimeters squared okay Make sure that's right. Two point four nine three. That's to three. Uh, actually, to three SF. It's better to write it two point four nine centimeters squared. Now, uh, what I was going to say was basically what we've done here. If you to to understand what's going on, all right. Um, the limit to the area is going to be basically as time gets really really big, the area will reach a certain limit. Okay, and the limit is going to be given by 30 times, let's say, a really big number, infinity, over 19 times a really big number, like infinity, plus 3. So, you see, the plus 3 won't really have much of an effect on this number. This will basically tend towards 30 over 19. And this is all, of course, squared. Okay, so 30 over 19 squared will be the limit, which, as we just saw, if I put 30, 30 over 19 and square it, I get the answer. 30 over 19. And I square it. I get that same answer, which is 900 over 361, which is 2.49. Okay, 900 over 361, which is 2.49. And you see, that's, ha that's basically what's happening here. That's what we're doing. But if you're not sure or you're not, you don't understand this too well, you just take your equation, put t as a really big number, um, and then work out the value of it, and you'll see that it gives you uh, basically the limit that it will reach. Okay, that, that's how you understand how to do this question. But the understanding way of doing it is basically where you replace the t with infinity. So you've got 30 times infinity over 19 times infinity. When you're dealing with infinity, the plus 3 will make very, very little difference. It'll basically be something that's negligible, so it's like 30... Uh, of times infinity over 19 times infinity which is like 30 over 19 that's like the ratio and that squared gives you the answer which is 2.49 and that's the end of this question and that's the end of this paper and um, this uh, paper the rest of the questions are found on the playlist that should appear in this region over here and the questions about differential equations should appear in this playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button on that should appear in the middle of the screen and on the top will be a link taking you to another p4 paper that you might be interested in watching thank you very much for watching and um i hope to see you again soon another paper um the link at the bottom of this uh, description or, or at the description um, on the bottom of this video will take you to the playlist for this paper as well the icon that appears on the right here and if you would like to have um, a copy of this paper and the mask scheme you can find it in the description of the playlist other 
um, A-level material that you might want to look at or even IGCSE material, you can find the links for those in the description of my video below. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.